Hello, my name is Blaine Jones, and I'm the Executive Vice President of Real Water. I have done hundreds of product demonstrations over the last few years, and I'd like to take a minute to show you how to properly demonstrate the pH and oxidation reduction potential, or ORP, of the Real Water E2 Concentrate product. The first thing that's very important that you want to make sure is that your ORP meter is properly calibrated and I'd like to take a minute and show you how to properly calibrate your ORP meter. If your ORP meter is not reading negative values very well or is giving you inconsistent readings, that means that it needs to be properly calibrated. You do that by using these calibration solutions that come from the manufacturer of the ORP meter itself. In this kit, there are two solutions that you will place into glass cups. Do not use plastic, do not use paper. You need to use glass because of the properties of these two solutions. Place the first solution in the first glass. Now you may use other glass, glass containers to basically be able to close these after the fact or you can use open glasses like I am. Now in this kit it gives you instructions on how to do this procedure properly but we can show you it now. So the first thing you're going to do is take your ORP meter and the probe Take the storage cap off and place it in the first solution for about 60 seconds, turning it and spinning it as you go to kind of move everything around and get it to soak up in that probe nicely. After you've let the probe sit in solution number one for 60 seconds, take it out, allow the excess to drip off the end of the probe, and rinse in a good clean water. Now, you will place the probe in solution number two and mix as you're going for about five minutes. After five minutes in solution number two, again, allow the excess to come off the probe and rinse in a good clean water. That is one cycle of the calibration process. You will need to do that at least two to three times when you're calibrating your probe. You can even do it up to six times depending on the age and the condition of the probe and how out of calibration it is. But once you do this a number of times, your ORP meter and probe should read negative readings accurately and consistently. So now that you have your ORP meter calibrated, you're ready to do a product demonstration. You should also have some pH solution with you as well. The two types of bottled waters that I like to use are Dasani and Aquafina. Coke owns Dasani, Pepsi owns Aquafina, and they're the number one and number two bottled waters in North America. So most likely, whoever you're demonstrating the product to has drank one of these bottles of water. Take a little bit of the water and pour it in to some cups. Now you want to use some short, stocky cups when you're doing this because they're tall and skinny. It might get knocked over as you're pouring or moving things around so it makes it a little bit easier when you're doing the demonstration. Now that you've got some water in your cups, next thing you want to do is add some of the pH solution. I like to start with this because it gives that immediate wow factor of the color. Add a little bit into the first cup and a little into the second. And right there you see the color of the solutions of the water and you can match it up on the pH chart to see that they're about a 3 or a 4 5 acid. Next thing you want to do is take your ORP meter place the probe in the first solution and you can show them now that the positive reading on that probe Go to the next solution, and you can see also the positive reading there.
Now what you want to do is take your E2 concentrate, real water concentrate, and you want to tell them to watch this part. Pay attention to the color of the water that you're going to be adding it to and also the ORP meter. It's going to change. It's going to have a little negative reading on the side there to switch from the positive to the negative. And you want to have them pay attention to this because this is the powerful, interesting part of the product demonstration. So you just take some of that, squirt it in to the solution. And you can see that color change and that negative charge on the probe now, or on the meter now. And that right there is a powerful demonstration for why when you're testing regular bottled waters and what the E2 concentrate can do to make them alkalized and negatively ionized. Now, when you're testing this, you don't want to leave it in the negative solution for too long. The reason is, is in this probe there's gel in here and it soaks up the solution of whatever you're testing. And because the real water E2 concentrate is so powerful with the negative ionization, it will store in this probe for a long time and it takes a while for it to go back to reading positive. So you don't want to leave it in that negative solution. The other thing, another tip, is you don't want to test sodas or juices with your probe. That will clog the probe up or cause it to be dirty and need for more calibration more often and a longer time of when you're doing the calibration. So if you want your probe to last and be a good tool for you, make sure you only test with bottled waters and keep it properly calibrated and don't store it in a negative solution for too long. It should last 9 to 12 months for you if you keep care of it and it is a very good tool to lead to your success with demonstrating the real water concentrate. So thank you for taking a few moments and allowing me to show you how to do a good demonstration of the pH and ORP or oxidation reduction potential of the real water E2 concentrate. I hope it leads to your future success. Thank you. She is the most fascinating woman in the world. In her presence, wild animals display intelligent talents. Elvis impersonators impersonate her. The king of the jungle bows at her feet. I always drink water, and when I do, I fancy real water. Stay hydrated, my friends.